structures of play in volleyball. There are six structures of play in volleyball, namely the toss, team starting lineup, positions, positional fault, rotation, and rotational fault. The toss. Before the match, the first referee carries on the toss to decide upon the first service and the size of the card in the first set. With the deciding seconds to be played, a new toss will be carried out. Like A. The toss is taken the presence of the two team captains. And B. The winner of the toss chooses either the right to serve or to receive the service or the side card. For the rotation, the rotation order is determined by the team's starting lineup. And control with the service order and player's position for the set. When the receiving team has gained the right to serve, its player rotates one position clockwise. The player in position 2 rotates to position 1 to serve the player in position 1 rotates to the position 6 and so on. Positional fault. The team commits a positional fault if any player is not in his or her correct position at the moment that the ball is hit by the server when a player is on court through illegal substitution a player restarts this is accounted as positional fault with the consequence of illegal substitution if the server commits a serving fault at the moment of the service hit the player's fault is counted before a positional fault if the service becomes faulty after the service hit it is a positional fault that will be counted a positional fault leads the following consequence number one the team is sanctioned with a point and service to the opponents number two players position must be rectified rotational fault a rotational fault is committed when the service is not made according to the rotational order leads the following consequences in order number one the scorer stops play by the buzzer the opponent gains a point and next service if the rotational fault is determined only after the completion of the rally which started with a rotational fault only a single point is awarded to the opponent regardless of the result of the rally play the rotational under order of the faulty team must be rectified. Additionally, the scorer should determine the exact moment when the fault was committed and all points scored subsequently by the team at fault must be cancelled. The opponent's points remain valid. If the opponent cannot be determined, no points cancellation takes place and a point and service to the opponent is only sanctioned. Team starting lineup there must always be six players per team in the play. The team starting lineup indicates the rotational order of the players on the court before the start of each set. The coach has to present the starting lineup of his or her team on a lineup sheet or via electronic device. Once the lineup sheet has been delivered to the second referee, no change in the lineup may be authorized without a regular substitution. Discrepancies between players' position on the court and on the lineup sheet are dealt with as follows. When such discrepancy is discovered, before the start of the set, players' position must be rectified according to those on the lineup sheet. There will be no sanction. Positions The ball is hit by the server. Each team must be positioned within its own court. In the rotational order, the positions of the players are numbered as follows. The three players along the net are front row players and occupy positions 4, 3, and 2. The other three players are back row players, occupying positions 5, 6, and 1. Relative positions between players. Each back row player must be positioned further back from the center line than the corresponding front row players. The front row players and the back row players respectively 
must be positioned laterally in the order indicated. The position of players are de determined and controlled by according to the positions of their feet contacting the ground. After the service hit, the player may move around and occupy any position on their court and the free zone. That's all. Thank you for watching.